Hello, my beard brothers. It's great to be here. And it's uh, another great understanding I want to give you about having a beard and the importance of having a beard and not destroying your beard. You know, some people say, oh, when did you let your beard grow? And I, it's not that I let my beard grow. I just stopped destroying it and it automatically grew. <laughs> it's not like I gave a permission, beard grow. No, it always grows. But uh, it's the winter time right now. And it's not really winter time here in South Florida where I live, but it's cold out today. And it just made me think about uh, a lot of people all over the country, all over the world, dealing with the snow and the cold and having a beard. And some people say, well, the beard keeps you warmer. I actually appreciate the beard because it actually adds shade to my face in the summer more than just keeping me warmer in the winter. But we think about God put the beard there for a reason. And when I think about the, the, the face and, and the organs of the body that uh, are, are the most accessible to getting sickness and disease, you think about the nose, how you breathe in viruses, and, and, and the mouth, how you could uh, receive germs, and then the throat, you think about this, just the weakest part of the, of the male body is the throat. And you think about what a beard protects. And I think about this. I think about uh, the nose. You know, the nose hairs in the nose have a function. And that function is to filter out all of the, the pollutions and the toxins uh, that are in the air. That's what the nose hair, if we didn't have hair in our nose, we'd be so much sicker all the time. But the nose hairs filter them out. Well, the mustache to a degree is an extension of the nose hair that will help filter these things out. And then we think about uh, the mouth, and, and, and yes, if our, if our mustache is bigger, definitely even more of a thing, but still, uh, it, it somewhat covers the mouth, and again, we don't have hair in our mouths, that would be kind of weird, but still, the mouth, the hair will filter these viruses and germs from getting in our mouth. It's there for a reason. And then, of course, the, the throat really protects, I mean, the beard protects our, our throat and our neck area, and... And, and there's a reason that our Creator created this this way and, 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 and designed the face and the beard and put it where it was. I mean, he could have had men have, he could have designed the face any different way. But every single part of the human body is, is there for a reason. I think about my cats that I have. Do you know if you cut a cat's whiskers, it loses all sense of direction? And the beard, you know, is, is something that uh, our Creator gave us. It's like our little antennas, like our little whiskers. And I, I do think from my research that men with beards have more in, uh, intellect than men that are clean shaven. And I do believe there is a connection uh, to our, our emotions and our feelings and also our intellect when we have face on our hair versus being clean shaven. And just if I, like if I took my cat and I could not only just cut its whiskers, but it's completely shaved all the hair of its body, not only would it be shivering and cold, not only would it look terrible, but I think something internally would be missing. You've completely taken that animal and, and changed the, 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 the chemistry uh, and, and uh, the physiology of that animal. And, and, and it might not be extreme as like taking a skin off our, a layer of skin off our bodies because of the pain that's felt immediately, but I think there's, it's still significant in the way the body functions and doesn't function. And uh, the beard is something that every man should uh, leave alone and at least let it uh, come on out. And if you want to shape it or whatever, that's, that's your choice. But to destroy it is something that should never be done. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see more and more people today, more and more men today, are, are, are understanding this and letting their beard grow. And, and they're realizing that this is our real look of a man. And when a man is clean shaven, they look like a cat with no hair almost. And when you think about the, the idea of manscaping and, and shaving our bodies and shaving our faces, and you think about women that like that kind of stuff uh, versus... Uh, being all natural and natural in general, it makes a big difference. Uh, so I, I'm appreciating, uh, you know, and it, it, it's, it's learning. You know, I've learned. Not only does a beard grow on you, but you grow into your beard. You know, I'm learning to keep my beard and my hair and my body groomed. But 
while also utilizing what our Creator gave us to do that and not destroying it. And I think uh, it, it's just, it's, it's more, it brings more alertness, attractiveness, and that, 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 that intimate, that, that fine thing that's between our little antennas, each hair is like a little antenna. Uh, it's just, you know, my antenna in my car is broke, so I'm not getting good enough radio obsession, radio reception. Uh, I rented a car recently and the radio came in crystal clear. I think that's what happens when we destroy our beard and we don't have a beard. We've, we've taken away that reception of whether it, on anything, whether it's just our intuition or whether it is, I don't know, some uh, on a spiritual level or on, a, on, a, on, a, on every level, we've taken away that antenna. And I don't want to go through life without an antenna. And yes, to a degree, I think it's, okay. it, it's a lot different even if you have a short beard and have no beard. But I think the longer the antenna, the longer or more reception you're going to get, right? So you're going to be able to get things from farther away. I see all these cell phone towers going up. The tallest cell phone towers are getting the most clearest reception in the cell phones around them. The shorter ones are better than no cell phone tower at all. Uh, so I'm thinking uh, people with longer beards are getting more of this reception. And I, I, I know some people this might sound silly or not, but God designed us a certain way, and he's called creator for a reason. And many times when people, uh, their car breaks down, what do you do? You go to your little book in your glove compartment, and you look at it to see, well, what's broke, and how can I fix it? Well... Uh, God also gave us, uh, he's our maker, right? So when we're wrong, we got to go to his manual, which is the Bible. And the Bible says, uh, a man shall not destroy his beard, you know, and, and there's just something about shaving and it comes back, shaving and it comes back, shaving and it comes back. And I remember when I said, okay, I get it. I get it. I understand. You know, I, I see it's supposed to be there. I got it. So. Uh, thank you, Beard Brothers, for, for having a beard and desiring to have a beard and keep your beard and not destroying it. And, you know, may the people in your life notice the difference and may you notice the difference of, of the reception you get through these wonderful antennas we call uh, facial hair or body hair in general. And, and, and life is great and the beard is great. So it's just uh, wonderful to have. All right. So I want you to be encouraged and uh, stick with it. And... Just enjoy it and embrace it. Until then, beard on.